What is up my Pika crew? This is the Pika Woo and welcome to another black and white Wi-Fi battle. This one's gonna be against a guy called Big Black Mac from the Smoke on Wi-Fi Battle Finder, and this was a really interesting match. Now looking at his team preview and looking at his team, he's got a lot of pretty big threats. He's got Machamp, Azelf, and Snorlax. But really, relative to my team, Machamp is the only deadly Pokemon. Because if my Spirit Tomb dies and my Hitmontop is weakened, then I will have a ton of trouble against that Pokemon. Aside from Machamp, nothing on his team is too threatening. In fact, he really has nothing on his team that can effectively break my defensive core. On my side, my defensive core is basically my whole team minus Sharpedo. Like I said, he has nothing too threatening that can dent my core, so my plan here is to set up as many entry hazards as possible before he deteriorates my core and destroys my core. And then I can proceed to shuffle his team with my Rhyperior and my Umbreon, or go on the offense with Sharpedo. In this case, I really wanted to showcase Sharpedo in this battle, so you will see a ton of Sharpedo action today. So I hope you guys enjoy the battle. It was a really awesome battle, so enjoy! So my opponent's going to lead off with the Ambipom and some simple advice, if you see Ambipom on the team preview, the opponent's most likely going to lead off with it because Ambipom's the only niche in the UU metagame is as a lead. So if the opponent doesn't lead off with the Ambipom, then it's most likely an alternative set, it's probably a fake out last resort set. I'm going to go ahead and counter this Ambipom with my Rhyperior lead. He really can't touch me, as you can see fake out does more damage to him than to me, and I can freely set up my stealth rocks. He can go for the taunt, but I believe it's a really risky move and I don't think my opponent's going to go for it because I can just as easily go for the Earthquake and just take down the Amapom in one shot. He goes for the pretty smart play and that's going into the Swamper because he can scare me out with the 4x super effective Water type move and then he has a lot of options from there. He can go for an Ice type move predicting my Roserite switch in or he can set up the Stealth Rocks of his own. He decides to go for the Stealth Rocks, that means I can bring in my Roserade freely and scare him out with a potential Giga Drain. And I know he's going to switch because he doesn't want to lose his Swampert, so I'm just going to go ahead and set up one layer of spikes. I actually don't carry the Giga Drain, but because my opponent doesn't know this, I will be able to effectively bluff my Giga Drain throughout the whole match. My only attacking move on this, on this Roserade set is Sludge Bomb, so he actually brings in the Snorlax, to sponge any special attack and this is good because I know Snorlax cannot want to KO me so I can set up another layer of entry hazards and set up a leech seed. Since this Snorlax at plus one attack and this body slam is going to be a solid two at KO, I'm pretty much forced to switch out next turn and I do have a lot of options though. I can bring in my Rhyperior and try to shuffle him out with the Dragon Tail. I can also bring in my Spirit Team to try to burn it and I can bring in my Hitmontop to just go for the close combat, but in this case, I'm actually just going to bring in my Spirit Tomb just to further explore what kind of set he is. I want to see if he is a mono attacker with Body Slam, Curse, Sleep Talk, and Rest. If he is, then he's most likely going to switch out. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and burn on the switch. And it does hit the Swampert, which is really beneficial because I know a lot of defensive Swampers have physical attacks like Earthquake and Waterfall. So this might be really beneficial, especially with my Roserade. Still, you know, my Roserade is weakened right now, and with the burn, if he goes for the Ice Punch, I'm pretty sure I will be able to live it. And if he goes for the Ice Beam, I should be able to live it as well because I'm especially defensive. So this is really good because if he wants to predict this switch, I can live pretty much any hit. And he goes for the Skull, which is fine because it does absolutely nothing. And because my Roserade is going to be able to outspeed and take down the Swampert with a Grass-type move, I'm pretty sure he's going to be switching out and I can get my third layer of spikes up and that's really good because now that I have all my entry hazards set up, I can start going on the offensive with the Sharpedo. Now I'm going to go ahead and stay in against this Azelf because I don't want to switch and let him get a free sub up because I know some Azelfs are sub nasty plot sets. So I'm just going to let this Roserade die. It really doesn't have any value on the team anymore because it's already done its role. It's already set up all the layer of entry hazards and um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Umbreon instead of bringing on my Sharpedo. And the main reason why is because if I bring in my Sharpedo, I have to protect first turn. And if he is a sub Azelf set, that would be really bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for the foul play on my Umbreon because it's super effective against the Azelf. I should be able to take it out. Anyways, he actually brings in the Swampert here, which is totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and foul play it. It should take it out. And yeah, so this Swampert is going to roar. And luckily for me, 
what do you know? It brings in the Sharpedo, so I don't even have to try. I just bring in the Sharpedo, and this is really good. So this Swampert is going to get taken down by the Burn, and Sharpedo is out. This is very, very good. So if he brings in the Azelf there, then I might have to switch out because it might be a sub Nasty Plot set. So uh, he actually doesn't. He brings in the Kofagrigus, so I can just take that out with a Crunch. Even if it's defensive, I should be able to take the hit. Or I should be able to take him out. And unfortunately for me though, he does get the mummy ability. So what that means is I don't get a speed boost this turn. He can outspeed me with the Azelf and he can take me out with a Thunderbolt or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Rhyperior to take the Thunderbolt. Actually, he doesn't have Thunderbolt. He has the 4 times super effective energy ball. Energy ball to the face is no good. And uh, I'm going to get taken down. But because I see energy ball... This means that he's most likely not a subset because he's probably Nasty Plot in 3 attacks with Psychic, Energy Ball, and Flamethrower. So this is good. This means I can freely bring in my Sharpedo, I can go for the Protect without worrying about the Substitute, and I can be fully set up. So he's gonna go ahead and bring in the Amapom, that's totally fine. I don't really understand why he brought it in like that, because he should've just let his, uh, his Azelf die and then he can bring in the Ambipom to attempt to go for a fake out. Actually, either way, I can just protect on the fake out, so this Ambipom won't be doing any damage to me. So, this Ambipom actually isn't a problem to my Sharpedo because I can just protect, I can take him out with a waterfall, and then I can get another speed boost. So, let's see what other Pokemon he has. This Snorlax, because of all the entry hazards, it's at a low amount of health. No way it's gonna take a waterfall. So, Waterfall to the face, this Norlax is going to get taken down. So, the only Pokemon I'm kind of scared of is that Machamp, because Machamp is pretty bulky, and it resists the Stealth Rocks, so it might be able to live a Waterfall, since Waterfall is only 80 base power. So, he brings in the Machamp here. He's going to go ahead and go for the Bullet Punch, just to deal some damage, although it's resisted. It still does a decent amount against my Sharpedo, and I'm going to go ahead and just go for the Waterfall again, and see how much damage it does. Luckily for me, it does take him out, because if it didn't take me out, then he could have went for two bullet punches, and he probably would have been able to save himself from a Sharpedo sweep, but now, he has nothing to take the hit, and that is going to be the match, so he is going to forfeit, it's going to be a Sharpedo sweep, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle, Sharpedo is amazing, it is an absolute monster in EU, if you guys enjoyed this battle, if you guys like Sharpedo, feel free to leave a like, so yeah, be sure to leave a like, favor, and a comment, and if you haven't joined the Pika crew already, you can join the Pika crew by subscribing, Pika! and peace out guys.